Hi there strikers. There's something uniquely disturbing about people vanishing into thin air. Read about these incredibly strange, unsolved cases although these disappearances span centuries, locations, age ranges, and circumstances, there's one common thread shared between them, a lack of closure. There are theories, speculations, and investigations, but never a decisive answer. On our incoming, episode I'm going to feature some of the cases of mysterious disappearances of some missing that just disappear without any trace. The Disappearance of Felicia Cochran 26-year-old Felicia Cochran was last seen in Pellville City, Alabama on July 11, 1992. She disappeared after heading out to the beauty salon, and hasn't been seen or heard from since. On July 11, 1992, Felicia Cochran asked her 10-year-old daughter if she wanted to go to the beauty salon with her. Her daughter said no, so Felicia left alone. At approximately 6 o'clock p.m. Felicia left her mother's residence, driving away in her 1987 grey Nissan Sentra. She hasn't been seen or heard from since. She reportedly headed off in the direction of Birmingham and made it to the salon. But what happened after remains unclear. According to witnesses, Felicia was seen arguing with someone in the parking lot of the hair salon. They knew Felicia and were concerned enough to call 911. However, when police arrived, Felicia was gone. Less than 12 hours later, Felicia's vehicle was found burned and abandoned on an isolated route in Talladega County, Alabama. The location of Felicia Cochran and circumstances surrounding her disappearance remains unknown. Her family believes they know who is responsible, but no one has ever been charged in her disappearance. Her case is currently classified as endangered missing and remains unsolved African-American female born on August 10, 1965. Felicia has black hair brown eyes, stands 5'3", and weighs 135 pounds. Her ears are pierced and she may wear eyeglasses. She was only supposed to be gone for a short time, as Felicia Cochran told her relatives that had a hair appointment at the salon. It was on July 1, 1992, in Pellmell City, Alabama, when Felicia asked her 10-year-old daughter if she'd like to accompany her while Felicia went to a stylist. Felicia's daughter declined the offer, so the 26-year-old got into her grey 1987 Nissan Sentra around 6 o'clock p.m. and drove away. It was the last time anyone saw or heard from Felicia Cochran. It's reported that Felicia looked as if she was driving in the direction of Birmingham, Alabama, and while she reportedly made it to her destination, it's unclear what happened after Felicia left the salon. Just 12 hours after she was last seen, the mother of three's vehicle was located in Talladega County, Alabama, on a remote road. It had been abandoned and burned. Had I known that would be the last time I would see you, my answer would have been unquestionably yes. Brandy Nicole Martin wrote in a letter to her mother that she shared with Musinic in 2012. That beauty salon was the last place you were seen. Twenty years ago today, 2012, your mother had you declared legally missing. You were only 26 years old, Brandy added. I wish I could ask you about your childhood, your college days, or what falling in love was like for you. I wish I could tell you thank you for the sacrifices you made for me. And being a great example of what a mother is, what was your final day like? What were your last words and how were you taken from us? Brandy asked in her letter. But more importantly, where are your remains so that you can be properly laid to rest and there is finally closure? And we are all finally at peace. Regardless if that day ever comes. You will always be at the forefront of my mind and deeply rooted in my heart, and I will live each and every day in an attempt to make you more proud of me than you were the day before. I love you and look forward to the day we are. In each other's presence again, at the time of her disappearance, Felicia Cochran stood 5 feet 3 inches tall and weighed 135 pounds. She had black or dark brown hair and brown eyes. Both of her ears were pierced and she may wear eyeglasses. Felicia was estranged from her husband when she went missing. She would be 55 years old at the time of this publication. Felicia Cochran was born on August 10, 1965. She has three children and was estranged from her husband at the time of her disappearance. And our second disappearance case the disappearance of Nicolette Frenset Perso. 30-year-old Nicolette Frenset Person was last seen in Detroit, Michigan on June 23, 2022. She left her home in the 1900 block of Longfellow and hasn't been seen or heard from since. 
Nicolette Fresset Person was last seen leaving her home in the 1900 block of Longfellow Street in Detroit, Michigan around 5 o'clock p.m. on June 23, 2033. Nicolette never returned home and hasn't been heard from since. Longfellow Street is located near Chicago Boulevard and Rosa Parks Boulevard, just west of the large freeway. Her stepfather told investigators that she is eight months pregnant and suffers from schizophrenia. The Detroit police are hoping someone will come forward with information regarding Nicolette's disappearance. Sinistol has a short dark afro, brown eyes, stands 5'10 tall, and weighs approximately 180 pounds. It is unknown what she was wearing when she went missing. A missing pregnant woman who left home and never returned. The Detroit Police Department is seeking help in the search of missing 30-year-old Nicolette Frenset person. Police said she left her home in the 1900 block of Longfellow and never returned. She was last seen around p.m. on Thursday, June 23rd. The Easter mother went missing and no other trace found what happened to them. What really happened to them? The family of this two mother still praying to see them.